Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today, we're on our banana gnome here. He is very warrior based. He has this cool ability here called Dreadnought. So, you're going to hit with a rend and hit with an overpower or a slam, and you unleash a wave of force doing a, a lot of damage, let me tell you. And uh, other than that, we have a couple other random things here and there that I just kind of picked up. Uh, there's another big one here with the ability with the fell infused weapon. Still a pretty heavy hitter there. Uh, you just got Mortal Strike. Or a power battle charge is pretty sweet. A little extra damage there. And then we also got ground slam. So mainly with this guy, I've been doing some battlegrounds, ripping it up. Start out with a little rend and a little overpower. Then I usually hit up with one of these guys in the end. Uh, and then we also have the execute. And we also got the sudden death, which is sweet. Uh, a couple little things here and there. We got the dreadnought, of course. Uh, some extra strength. Basically, just kind of build up with those couple attacks. I don't really want to be doing a whole 50 million rotation or anything like that, but getting that huge dreadnought strike is awesome. Um, so other than that, we kind of just have been re-rolling the stuff that we don't need. Hopefully, we get a slow because we don't have any slows yet. What is this? Paratrooper? Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? We got judgments. We can't even use the judgments. Uh, we're level 51 right now. We're just kind of leveling this guy up to reset him so I can get some extra um, essences and marks and whatever they're called so I can get more of the BOA gear. So then I can pop that to all the uh, different classes there. Hi, buddy. Tarzan's coming to say hi. Um, so I can get like a set for my strength, for agility, for casters, all that good stuff because you can buy it with the Marks of Ascension uh, or the Donator Points, but I just wanted to do the Ascension. Uh, we also got the Cat Form, which just comes in handy when we're getting kind of CC'd a lot. Uh, we can go through these real quick and uh, we'll hop into a Battleground. All right, boys, we got into a BG. We got a little bit of a flag action going on here. Got the old uh, banana outfit here with the sword and the blue eyes. Playing a little gnome guy. So we got the uh, escape artist. Which is pretty sweet so I don't have to worry about wasting the uh, trinket. And we have a little bit of BOA gear here and there. Like the cape, uh, these guys. Also have this other stuff but what I was picking up seemed to be a lot better. So hold on to this stuff for now. Here we go. We got the first contender right here. Let's start out with a rend if I get him. And bam. Nice big old clunk there. Hit him with that thunder. Hit him with that again. Make sure he's not healing too much. And we'll execute him. And we also got the uh, the old victory rush here. Nice. Get this boy here. Oh, damn fear. We don't have a s silence though. Oh, sorry, he does. Uh, bang. Nice. Get a triple. Almost out of rage. We got this uh, insect. Oh, he finished him off. Nice. All right, we need to get out of here because we're almost dead. Oh, he's coming for me. Go for him first. Nice. He's dead too. Can we keep going? Can we get the heal? Damn, we're good. Got us. Oh, look at me with a little tiny baby flag. Got the win, boys. Bang. Wink. Tweet. 
Alright boys, we got a couple things decked out in the Mystic Enchant, just a little bit of strength, stamina, agility, extra rage, all the different weapon enchants, and then some extra mana just to keep that up. Uh, because we started out with this Crusader Strike as a filler. Uh, we're going to keep going. I want to show you guys a little trick real quick. Um, press H, you go into your points here, and you can see once you get to 75, it caps out. I've been using the tokens you can buy. If you use quests, they give you a ton of XP, marks, and then also bonus honor. So we're at uh, 26 now. I think you get like 40. Uh, 56, so 30. So that's pretty sweet. You can do this quite a few times. And then that also gives you this little cash you can open up. Sometimes you get gear that you can just sell for money. Um, sometimes you get extra caches. And then once you do that, you accept the new one. And then when you get this thing pretty much maxed out, you come over to... So you come over here to the old town. And you can come to this vendor, one of these vendors. And you can buy these little bloody mark of war. And it gives you a thousand mark of ascension. So that's how I kind of just stack it up. Buy a couple of those. Oh, got it. Defender over here, let's take him out. Let's blow him up. Hopefully, he can grab this before he respawns. Nice. Alright, we are the Horde team. We gotta make sure we get some more bases. We got three so far. We can get more of that. Nice. So we should be able to cap this too. The nice thing about this uh, overpower ability is it's an AoE, so I can smack three, four people with this no problem. Probably really good in a dungeon or raid. Ooh, how do you heal so much? Goth girl feet. Sorry, but it's time to put you down. Still don't have any kind of slow. Alright, cap this boys, because if not they're coming back soon. Seven and zero, boys! Holy shit! Oh, are we uh, five capping them? Holy shit! All right, we're gonna have to get over here and get them as they come out then. Basically, I'm just cycling between overpower and uh, execute right here. A little bit of mortal strike. All right, we're holding five bases, boys. Let's just make this quick so they don't have to suffer. Sorry, guys. There we go. GG. What do we got? Eight now? Yeah, eight now. Not too bad. And 20k damage. Almost on one. All right, now we're since we got back, we can go and we can turn in our call to arms battleground. We'll get more XP and more honor points, and we can go get more marks of ascension. So if you didn't want to save them up like I do, uh, you can always spend them on more rerolls. All these guys down here. Uh, a lot of other things throughout the game you could spend the marks and ascension on, but I want to kind of get more heirlooms so I can level up more characters quickly and then get more in the long run and just kind of do more builds, play all the uh, conquests of Azeroth characters. There we go. Watch a lot of boys.
So we can take them out before they start healing. I think someone's healing me. out for a while somebody was healing me i think and i was getting so close to that guy oh he's gonna need some help oh no i was late and bang haha <laughs> i got you oh shit what happened to my health yeah they're about to win no worries yeah so if you don't win the battleground you don't get this complete so uh, you just get like the normal cash and everything uh so you just have to when to get the extra goodies but you still get these which are cool because then you can use these to reroll all these crap abilities um i know they recently redid a lot of this luck and draw stuff and and uh rolling and stuff like that so you don't get the same stuff but like sometimes i got the same stuff over and over and over again or things around the same like i've been getting a lot of cat and bear abilities i don't have any i mean i guess i have cat form but that was probably a bad example but I get a lot of abilities that make no sense. Um, I've been trying to stick with a warrior and maybe like a paladin or something like that. And I've been getting a lot of random stuff. Two health left. Uh, wow. Oh, big ol' heal. Take this guy out too. Then execute, nice. Ooh, ooh, oh, I thought we'd get that one too. That'd been sweet. Go over here, boys. I'm getting thrown all over the place. What's going on? Right, I guess we'll get the casters. Like that's it for me, boys. Dang, we got a couple of them. Ten and four. Nice. Nice, we got it. We got 11 kills, 63k. We were dead for a little while, too, so that's not too bad. Oh, shit, we were first. I'll take it. Nice. And we got almost a full level, too. Nice. All right, let's uh, do all these. We'll go do our quest real quick. We just won. We got level 60 as well. Damn, we got a lot of shit, too. All right, boys. Well, we made it to 60. We can go cash in our little uh, quest there, get some extra points, and then I can start saving those up. Uh, we did get a little bit of gear, nothing really worthwhile. Uh, but if you are going to level up, you can mainly shoot for strength and melee attack power. Um, right now, we're sitting at 1,008. I just kept all the gear that I've had on. And also, the abilities. 
The main thing if you're looking to do this is kind of very nice for battlegrounds. It's like a melee strength build. And uh, you're mainly going to need the Dreadnought. Um, you're going to need the Overpower, of course, to bind with that. Then you're going to want to look for things like Attack Power, Crit, Strength, all that good stuff. Um, I also got this Overheated Strikes, which is pretty sweet. We also got the Fell Weapon, which is huge. That's a big damage boost right there. Um, armor to the Teeth, if you have it, get that thing maxed out. Um, and then anything else that will help you out. I noticed it got stunned and feared it quite a bit. So if I could get like uh, the uh, Talent for whatever that is, that would be great. Um, we have, I think, sweeping or flurry. There we go. And if you want to get like sweeping strikes to do multiple AOE, if you want to do like uh, mana storms and stuff like that, or they have, um, I think the other one's like shredder or something. Oh, look, we do we have flurry, and then the warrior's version is the uh, shredding blows. There we go. Pretty close. Um, so those are both really good, especially with getting the crit up there. And then if you can probably grab some more heavy hitting, like Colossus Smash, would probably be good for the armor. And other than that, mainly just kind of tweak what you have, get the most points into your main abilities. I have kind of too many abilities here that kind of all just fall into the same process. This Thunder Slam was actually pretty sweet, um, especially because it's made for the two-hander. And then the 10-yard cone is pretty big. This Ground Slam is sweet as well. It's up to 10 enemies. Uh, Thunderclap is pretty easy on. It's a good starter ability. And then, of course, the rest of the abilities fall in. I did start with the Crusader Strike just because it's a good amount of damage for a two-hander. And it's got three charges versus Sinister Strike. A little bit less there. And then get some kind of charge, intercept, battle battle charge, charge, anything like that. Um, I do need a Silence. That would probably help out. And probably, like, a Rage. Uh, and Rage to kind of get rid of the fear. Uh, over here somewhere. Berserker Rage, because they get feared a lot, especially with the casters, so that would probably help out, but overall, just just kind of a, a simple little basic build for Battlegrounds to kind of level up quickly, if you combine this with like XP potions, if you want to go solely um, heirlooms instead of relying off of Geary Pickup, get a little bit of faster, faster level 60, so you can just reset Prestige and keep, keep it going. We are going to see how many honor, how many marks we have here, so we are almost at 60k, which honestly is not that much. So if you're getting about 60k per prestige, you can prestige a few times, plus the prestige points. But if you're doing like dungeons and other stuff that might give you a little bit more in terms of points, that might be the way to go versus just keep grinding it out. But I'm just going to prestige this guy and then I'll keep it going, see what other kind of abilities you get. Um, maybe make another video, see if we can tweak it a little bit on the way up. But if you're enjoyed, definitely leave a like for me. Any ideas, any tips, tricks, things that you might want to see, drop those below and I might make a video on them. Catch you guys later, and thanks for watching.